In a previous lesson we used images within our reports and if you don't remember that one of the things that we did was creating a kind of a slicer with airline images rather than just the airline names. The key is that image was automatic. The data model knew that that was an image and you might ask, well, how did it know that? Let's take a look at that. The way that we associate those images is within our BISM data model. In the carrier table, we have a column that has the airline logos separated out. So let's go through and do the same thing for our aircraft models. So what I'd like to do is have an image show up whenever a model is brought into a table, or at least when I want the image to show up. The way I do that is I need a column that stores the URL for that image in my model. I'm going to create that just like I would any other column. So I'll give it a name, image URL. And then for the formula, I'm going to build that dynamically. So I could have populated this in the data before I loaded it into the BI semantic model, but in this case I'll just calculate it. And the way I'll do that is the concatenate function. I can choose fields here. Now I have a number of things to concatenate together. The DAX concatenate function can only concatenate two things at a time. So I will have to do some nesting here. So I'll save my solution and this is showing me what it looks like in the development environment but I do need to deploy this metadata to the server so that my server based data model will, will have the right definition. So that's deployed. That uh, did not process my model and in, in that solution I have it set up so that it doesn't process automatically. So I'll go over to Management Studio, Process Table, just the one table, that's all I changed. Click OK. And that read in the updated rows for my model table. Then let's go back to our report and I think I'll eliminate a couple of these fields here to save some space for you. But I'll go ahead and expand that out. And I'm going to convert those images to a slicer. And then in the next section, well, let's add a title here. So this will be the airline models flown. So we'll be able to look at what models each of these airlines is flying. Now let's go ahead and create our table. And if you look in our aircraft model table, we now have this new field called aircraft image. So I'll drag that over to my report surface. And in order to get it to populate, I'm going to need something from the fact table so that it will establish a good relationship and filter out for me. And I'll choose on time flight percent. So now I can see all of those. If I choose from this slicer a different airline, I can see the different planes that the different airlines are flying. Well, let's make this a little bit more interesting and choose in the actual model name. And how many engines, the number of seats, and how about the average trip that these planes are being flown in those airlines. There we go. So that's a little more interesting. So let's put this in reading mode so you can see it a little bit better. So what we've created is we used our existing images over here and made a slicer out of them. Then as we choose different airlines, if we get a model that actually has a valid image, then that will display so we can see what that plane basically looks like. That's a basic look at how to get an image into your data model so that it will display in PowerView. And we'll look in the next lesson at how to make these displays even better by using card views along with those images.